What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys another guide for Pokemon Legends Arceus for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be showcasing off all the starters locations within this game. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, totally consider subscribing. We got plenty of other guys coming your guys' way, so you guys do not want to miss out. But I've been getting a lot of comments, a lot of questions being like, yo, jeans, where are the stars at? This video is going to be showcasing all those questions. It's going to be answering all those questions and showcasing off all those locations. We're going to be showing where to catch Turtwig, Chimchar, Piplup, Oshawott, Cyndaquil, Rowlet, and even Pikachu and Eevee because a lot of people do consider them starters nowadays, so I figured I'd add them to the list. But let's get started here. Let's get right after this video by heading to the first area in the game, which is going to be the Obsidian Feelands. And in the Obsidian Feelands, we can actually catch three starters in this area you can catch eevee chimchar and pikachu and this goes to say i actually did not mention this in the beginning but you can catch all the starters pre-game besides the main ones in this game so besides syndical Oshawa, and rally you can get all the other starters before you even start to post game so you can have them for your main series team so good to know good to know back and i throw a pokeball but what we want to do first here is actually sleep to the evening time because that is when lovely little eevee spawns and eevee is going to be the first pokemon that we're going to be tackling so i'm going to switch it to the evening time and you can catch this pokemon right off the rip because this is the first area you go to you can just head up here and grab yourself an eevee if you want any of the eevee lucians for your team so we're going to switch to the evening time and i'm going to check my map real quick just to showcase to you guys where eevee actually spawns and it spawns more towards the horseshoe plane over here so kind of like around this area you want to go and usually in the even time you can see a few eevee spawn there so you can start off here by going down and go grab yourself an eevee early on in the game so let's fly over here and see if one spawns we got starlies we got Badoofs, we got wormples but we're not looking for them we're looking for eevee so you know i'm gonna fly a little bit lower to the ground we got wormple over here and this is eevee where are you at come here eevee there is what is that that's a starly Next little Starlita, and uh, I usually find Eevee's kind of like located more right here towards this rock. So let's see if we can find one to spawn. There's Wurmples, and there is a lovely Eevee just chilling on the ground right there. There's a Ponita too, and a Lost Satchel, but I saw the Eevee right there. Yep, there it is. Look at that. Lovely little Eevee. We're going to be trying to catch it. If we don't, it's all good considering we already showcased where it's at. And I'm going to give this thing a little honey cake. I don't know why I kind of want to give it a honey cake. Or, you know, where's this thing at? It's in the, uh, it's in the lovely grass. Let's see if we can get it to uh, pull out away from the grass and pull out our ultra ball so we do not mess this up yep there's eevee how you doing girl how you doing girl eat up eat up yeah but eating up we'll hit this thing with an ultra ball and we'll see if we can actually catch this thing so let's see come on baby catch it beautiful so there it is level three eevee pretty easy to get early on in the game okay so the next location we want to go to is actually going to be pikachu and pikachu is actually located uh where's it at where's that let me pull it up on my map down here in between nature's pantry and kind of like orb or tunnel it's legit this corner right here kind of where this pokeball is at so actually no it's not that corner it's kind of like somewhere over here we're gonna be showcasing just give me a second guys just give me a second but we're gonna head to the heights camp it's gonna make everything a lot easier and i'm gonna sleep till midday because i believe this pokemon spawns at any time besides nighttime so i think i'm gonna go to midday so just in case you know it switches to nighttime we should be fine it actually might spawn at night i'm not too like like 100 about it but I know it will spawn midday. So you know what? We're going to grab a bird again. And we're going to get right up here. And we're going to go towards Pikachu. And where's the area I want to go to? It should be right over here. There's like a corner kind of chilling over here. Kind of near that Pokeball where I located. I'll definitely pull up the map once I get to that location. Just to give you guys an exact location of where this Pokemon does spawn. And it is. So so the Pokeball is right over here. Pikachu spawns right down here. So if you look at the map, we're going to be right. Well, let me pull up the map. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. So here's the Pokeball. Pikachu spawns right over here. I'm going to dip down here and see if a Pikachu did spawn. I know Pichus do spawn here again, too. So let's see. And we got Cricket Tots. Everything but Pichus and Pikachus? You guys serious? Everything but the Pichu Pikachu? Come on, yo. That ain't cool. That is not cool. That is not cool. Not cool one bit. So no Pichus or Pikachu spawn. And that actually goes to show. That's actually great for today's video. If you do not have a Pokemon to spawn, you can actually... Uh, I think you might have to reset. I think you might have to reset. Which is not bad. So I think you have to reset the whole world. And which is exactly what I'm going to do. And by, by resetting the whole world, you want to actually leave the total area. Don't just sleep into another time. You want to actually just leave the whole area. And then come back. Oh, and of course, we got a survey report. Because, you know, we call it an Eevee. We call it a lovely little Eevee. God dang it. God dang it. <laughs> so, you want to leave the area. Come back. Reset it. And then go right back to the area where I was just at. Second time's the charm, ladies and gentlemen. This goes to show if none of these Pokemon do spawn, which most of them will, just reset the map by leaving the area and coming back to it, and 
Try again. Just try again. That's all it is. But we're going to head over here and look see if Pikachu spawn. Hopefully he spawns. Like I said, Pikachu and Pichu will spawn in this area. And if we come over here, I see Cricketots. And there he is. Yo, the boy. Oh, actually, both of them spawn, which is amazing. We got a Pikachu and a Pichu just chilling here. I'm going to try to get in this grass and try to sneak up and catch a boat. So I had to catch them both. So first of all, I want to get this Pikachu. So you know what? I'm going to feed this thing. What do I think it likes? Some nice little peanut berries. Give it a little peanut berry. Pichu, you can have one too. Cricketot, if you eat them, you're done. Where's my Ultra Balls at? Ultra Balls, where are you at? So there's Pikachu eating up. There's a ball of Pikachu. And we're going to go catch him. And Pichu saw me. That's all good. He's going to... Oh, I'm going to get a chance to catch him. There we go. Catch Pikachu. And did we catch the Pichu? We did. We caught them both. Absolutely amazing. There is the location of the next starter, which is going to be Pikachu. Okay, so for the third and final starter for this area, it is going to be Chimchar. And Chimchar is actually located over here at Ramanas Island, which you cannot actually get to until you unlock Bashi Legion in the third area. And another spot he is located, but it's a lot rarer is going or a lot rarer is going to be Deer Track Heights. So if you guys do have Bashi Legion, he spawns basically every single time at Ramanas Island. But if you don't, you can actually head over here at like Deer Track Heights and he will spawn at a low chance. So we're just gonna head over to Ramanas Island and showcase exactly where this thing spawns. So like I said, you can't really get here until you have Bashi Legion because you gotta be able to surf across. But we're gonna take our bird braviary, fly straight across this area and actually an Alpha Inferno actually spawns there too, which is really really cool. It's really cool, which you can't catch till you're like a higher star rank, but still, it's definitely worth checking out and just seeing them. But Chimchar spawns here, I'm pretty sure like every time at all times of day too. It's really, really nice. It's really, really nice. So every time you, you uh, go into Obsidian Field Lands, your boy Chimchar will respawn. So we're going to make our way to Ramus Island, and Infernape is more towards the end side of this, and Chimchar kind of spawns in the beginning area. Down here. So there's some Star Ravia, so I might have to kill him in order to catch the Chimchar. And you can see Chimchar just chilling right there. He is just chilling right there. And you know what? Just leave me alone, please. Just leave me alone. I'm trying to catch this Chimchar. You know what? You guys might witness me murdering these guys. Yo, there's three. There's three. What is this, yo? I'm trying to record a video, and these dudes are all ganging up on me. That's it. All of them are getting it. All of them are getting it. I should have switched to Agile style. But looks like we're doing a battle video today instead of catching the starters. Because these Star Rabias want to jump me. But, you know, I'm actually glad we got this on video. I always love adding some a little bit of a funny content to the channel sometimes. And this is kind of funny, yo. We got jumped by Star Rabias. Which is actually hilarious. Look at them. Whoa. Whoa there, dudes. These dudes are... But why are they going like 50 times? Why are these dudes going 50 times? Can I go for an agile style shot? No, we're just going to run. Because you know what? Dude, these guys are giving me a tough time. I don't want my cleaver to die. Yeah, here you go. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Now I got to heal up my dude. <laughs> now I got to heal up my cleaver. Come here, cleaver. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. All right, let's catch this Chimchar like we want to do in the video. But, yo, getting jumped by... Yeah, leave me alone, yo. Leave me alone. I just want to catch this Chimchar. Where'd he go? There's the Infernape over there. Now, where's my Chimchar at? There he is. There's Chimchar. Yo, chill on me, yo. Chill on me. I want to feed this thing a nice little... Nice little lepa berry. There you go. Eat up. And I'm going to be trying to dodge these dudes at the same time. <laughs> where's my Ultra Balls at? Where's my Ultra Balls at? I need them. There's Chimchar. Please don't spot me, Chimchar. These guys are trying to hit me, and I threw a Lepa Berry at it. And, you know, we're going to die. I'm going to catch this thing the old-fashioned way. Come here, Chimchar. Come here, Chimchar. Come here, buddy. Come here. We got Star Ravia's just teeing off on me. It's all good. Do not run away, Chimchar. He's keeping his guard up, and he does not run away. Awesome. So we're going to catch this thing the old-fashioned way. The Star Raptors or the Star Ravia's almost killed me. God dang, man. What an episode. What an episode. We're going to throw a Pokeball at this thing. Should be able to catch it first try, I'm hoping. Because, you know, Ultra Balls are the best for low-level Pokemon. Let's see if we get it. Beautiful. There it is. Chimchar caught it the old-fashioned way. There it is. Beautiful. All three stars for Obsidian Field Lands. And we're almost dead. We're almost dead. So, you know, what? I'm going to fly out here. And we're going to head to the next area and showcase off our next starter. The next starter we're going to be tackling is going to be Turtwig. This Pokemon is located in the Crimson Mire Lands. And the exact location is going to be down here near the Droning Meadows all the way in this back corner. Exactly at this little pond. He spawns all the way back there. So what we want to actually do is actually just fast travel here. Make her life uh, 10 times easier. You know, I'm just going to fast travel, hit up on my bird, and we're going to get after that Pokemon. Which way do we have to go? I believe it's this way. It is this way. So we're going to want to fly over this little mountainside. If I can get up there. The bird is so useful for catching any single Pokemon. I love how it's a great post-game little, little Pokemon. It really just uh, it works wonders for us. We have those last starters. Or not even the last starters. The last chimp chart was giving us a tough time. Those star rabias gave us a whooping. Ganged up on me and tried jumping me. Get him out of my face. But I believe we're going the right way. Yep, just keep traveling down this area. And like I said, if you have Braviary, it's pretty much a downhill kind of thing. 
So you can pretty much just glide all the way down, which is absolutely amazing. But Turtwig is located in this back corner. Sometimes it's a growl, but most of the time it is a Turtwig. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad. And I'm pretty sure it spawns here at all times of day. It's either going to be a Turtwig or a growl at all times of day. And look how quick we get here with our lovely little bird graveyard. It's absolutely amazing. So we are already here. See that little pond straight ahead of us? That is where Turtwig spawns. And let's see if he did spawn. Let's see. Where's he at? Anyone spawn here? No one spawn here? I don't see anybody. Is someone hiding? I don't see anybody. Let me try to check these corners right here. Dip down a little bit, maybe? Oh, no. There is Turtwig. I see him. Come here, little buddy. Come here, little buddy. But if we head down here, we get ourselves a lovely little Turtwig. I'm going to switch my Sneasel. And I'm going to switch right there. So, as you guys can see, there's the boy, Turtwig. Howdy, Turtwig. I'm actually going to go around just so we can sneak up on him. Yeah, we got some music jamming here. Where are my worm berries at? There's the little buddy. Hello, Turtwig. So, here is another starter for you guys. Absolutely amazing. Where's my worm berries at? We'll feed this dude up. Thank you, Turtwig. We'll try to get it with a back shot, too. Throw an orange berry. See if we'll see that. And where is my ultra balls? There we go. Pull out my ultra balls. And look at him hop over there. And there's a parish trying to eat that snack, too. There you go. Turtwig eats it up. We'll hit this thing with a back shot. And we'll grab this. And there it is, yo. That is how you get Turtwig. Bang. Lock it down. There it is. Call it. Let's head on to our next starter, which is going to be the final Sinnoh starter. So, guys, we have three starters left to go over, and I believe these ones are the most requested on where to find it, man. We got Oshawott, Rowlet, and Cynical. So, if you do not take one of them, don't worry, guys. You guys can still find them, but you have to wait till post game. You can find all of them in the brand new time distortion zones. But the thing about this is, all of them are located in a specific area. So, you have to find a time distortion zone in a specific area, and then it is a rare drop from there. So, if you guys want to find Rowlet, you can find Rowlet in the Coronet Highlands in any time distortion zone. Very, very high chance of spawning, and you got to be in post game. If you want to find Oshawott, you have to go to the Alabaster Icelands, find Time Distortion Zone in there, and it will have a high or a low chance of spawning in there. And then last but not least, Cyndaquil is going to be located in the Crimson Mirelands. Find the Time Distortion over there, and you guys got a low chance of finding that. So if you guys do find Time Distortion and it is not there, don't worry, guys. Just try it again. Keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, and eventually you guys will find one. But there is another way to actually obtain the starters that you did not choose in the beginning. So in this game, I chose Samurai, which will be Oshawott. So if I want to get the other two, Cyndaquil and Rowlet, once I beat the game, once credits roll, you can head back to Professor Leventon over here, which is going to be right over here inside Jubilee City. You can talk to him, and he's going to offer to give you the other two starters that you did not choose. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to be like, yo. What's up, my dude? He's going to be like, yo, take these uh, extra starters. Do you want them? I'm like, yeah. I received Cyndaquil. Awesome. And who else am I going to receive? I'm going to receive Rowlet. Beautiful. So now I have Cyndaquil, Rowlet, and I also have Oshawott, but I have bothered to it. It's final form. So that is beautiful. Got the two other starters. And there it is, guys. That is how you guys obtain every single starter in this game. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.